Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. It's great to see you all again. I hope you're all doing well. I know I am, because I'm having some fun. I'm playing the guitar and I'm playing Bruce Dickinson, Tattooed Millionaire. What a fun song that was when it came out. Yannick Gears on the guitar. He did the duties uh, when Bruce Dickinson went solo from Iron Maiden. Uh, Relatively easy song to play. I'm going to show you how to play the verse, the chorus, and uh, probably going to kick in the guitar solo as well at the end. So, if this is your first time to the channel, great to see you. And I know you're going to enjoy the channel. And because of that, you're going to want to click on that subscribe button and hit that bell. That way, you'll be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. Well, that's the plugs finished. Let's get serious. Let's play the guitar and let me show you how to play Tattooed Millionaire by Bruce Dickinson. So don't go away. Preview. So the opening part of the song to me is very reminiscent of a Def Leppard song. We are going to be playing this riff. All we do to play that, we're going to hold our first finger down on the ninth fret on the G and the B, and second or third finger, whichever you want, is going to be on 10th fret. And we're going to play that shape, which is 9, 10, three times. Then we take off our first, second finger, sorry, and holding down 9, 9, with a slide. And then we switch across, so we're holding down 9 and 9 on the D and the G string, and we have our first finger tucked behind on the G8, because we're going to play 3 on the 9, and we lift our third finger, so we're doing 9, 8. And then we go back to that opening section again, we're going to go... So we're going free, open, back down, and then we're going to play a B5 power chord, which is going to be seven, uh, 9 on the D, and then we've got 11 on the G, and 12 on the B. And we just repeat that. That is the main verse section. Now, really easy to play. Just don't forget them slides. He doesn't do the slide on the B. It only does it on the first two, which is that uh, 10 to 9, 9, and then 9, 9 to 9, 8. That's where you get the slides in there. From there, we go into what I'm going to call the pre-chorus section. So let me just play it through, and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> So we play an A5 to a B5, so we do an A5 to two B5s. Then we've got this little line here which is going to be four on the low E, two on the D, four on the G. And then we've got two A5s. Then we go back to our A to B5. And then we do a C sharp, which is a uh, fourth fret on the A string. And we're going to do a C sharp to a B flat to a C sharp, two on each. And then we repeat. And that is the pre chorus. So it was easy. Oh. Going into the chorus section, let me play you the chorus. And of course, as usual, I'm going to break it down for you. C. 
So what are we doing there? Well, we are going to an E5 and we're going to play one, two, three, one, two. Yeah. And then to a B5. And then we've got this little riff here where we play. So, it's similar to what we played in the pre-chorus, uh, same notes, what we're playing is four on the E, and then we're gonna play two on the D, four on the G, back to the two on the D, and we got another four on the low E, then we've got two fours on the G, going back to the two on the D. So we get, straight into an A chord. So far. So a couple of you on if when you come out of that uh, chord you'll go you've got on that A. And then we back to the E. From there, you hold on that, and then it's back to. So that's your chorus as well. Uh, again, very, very easy to play. Oh, of course, it goes back into a verse, pre chorus, and of a chorus. And then we have got the bridge section which is what we're gonna look at now. So let me just play through the bridge section riff and I'll just break it down for you. Heavily muted uh, when we're playing that, but what we're doing, we are playing seven on the D string, seven on the A string, five on the D, and then back to seven. And we repeat that line one, But we finish on the last one, we're playing 7-7. Seven, seven. Now these are all eighth notes. So we get 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Which is at 7-7 seven, seven at the end. We've got a little pause, an eighth pause, and then we start all over again. But this time, of course, because we pause, we're not playing that 7, we're going to start on the 7 on the A string. And we repeat. This time at the end of that second bar, we finish it on the five. So we've got seven, five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five, which is on that D string. From that section there, we are on the build up to the guitar solo. But there's a little theme that Yannick plays before that. So that's what we're gonna do now. So here's a little theme that is playing just prior to the main guitar solo. So I'll just play it through for you. Now, it's kind of a repetitive line that he's playing, but we start off on the B string. We're playing 9, 10, 12 on the B string. Cross to 9 on the high E. And then we got this return journey back down, which is 12, 10, 9. Back to the 10 on the B, to 12. Cross to the high E string, 9. And then back down again. 10, 12 on the B, 9. And then 12, 10, 9 again. Then 12, we hold that. And then it's 9, 12. Now he's playing a harmony which is two octaves lower down, what we're playing on that. But uh, really the main theme what you're hearing there, because it teams up with the bass as well, is just a full harmony across that line that we played there. 
So, as I promised, let's go and look at the guitar solo that Yannick plays through this. So I'll just play through the solo and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> So we start off with a very fast picking line, which is 9-12 on the B to 9-12 on the high E, back to the 9, and then 12 on the B, and then 9. But we did playing it. But he's playing it as a 16th line through that whole bar, so it's very, very, quite, uh, very, very fast. Then we've got this 12 full tone bend. Back to the 12 on the high E. We cross over then to nine on the G and 12 on the B and a full tone bend on the nine. To nine, nine on the G. And then we've got a nine, 11 on the G pull off. Going to nine, so 11 on the D. Followed by a full tone bend on the 11. Then we're going to move up to a typical kind of classic blues line here, where we're moving up to 13 on the G and we're going to play 12, 14 on the B. So we just play that. And then he doubles his time and he plays the reverse. So he's doing a 14 pull off 12 to 13. Then we do a 14 full tone bend. Release back down. 12, 11, back to 12. And then 11, 12, 11, which is a pick hammer on pull off. 14 on the B to 12 on the B, and then we go 14. Sliding back up to 12, and then we've got this 17, 16. And then we cross to 14 on the high E, and we play 14, 16. And then 14, hammer on 16, pull off. 17 on the B, 16 on the B, 14. And then we go back up. 14, 17. Then we got 14 on the high E. Full tone bend. And uh, what's that? That is 17 on the B. From there we get a 14, 17, 16. And then we repeat. And then back to 14, 17, 16. And then we got this 16th picking line, which is going. So what we're doing there is we have 14, 16, 17 twice. And then we do 16, 17. And then we go back to 17 which is 14, seven, so we do 17 on the B to end it up on the 14, 16, and then we do 14, 16, 17. And then we got a full tone bend. Back down to the 17. So that is the solo by Yannick Gears. When we come back out of that, then we're back into a chorus line, which is that and that takes us on to the player of the song. So that's all of the parts covered for the song. 
Um, apart from the solo, which is a fun solo to play, uh, the rest of the structure of the song is fairly easy. I know you'll find that you should be able to pick that up quite well. So I will drop in the tabs, which will be on my website, and I'll include the link to that. Also, I want to mention that I've got something rather exciting coming up uh, very, very soon, which is a section of my website. It's going to be called the Premium Channel where I'm going to be taking a number of songs each month and having a really in-depth look at them. Uh, I kind of do a standard lesson when I'm on the YouTube channel, but what I'm going to be doing on the Premium channel for some of the hard, uh, for the Iron Maiden and the uh, Judas Priest, um, I'm going to take a more in-depth look at the song. Some of the songs that I haven't done the solos for on YouTube, I'll be doing them. Also covering the dual harmonies. And I'll also be creating backing tracks for you. So you can play along and have some fun. Now that's going to be launched in the next week or two. I'm really excited about this. It will be a subscription service. You're just going to pay $6.99 a month. Uh, $6.99 a month. And that gives you access to everything that I'll be putting on my premium channel. And there'll be stuff put on there that will not be on the YouTube channel. So kind of an exclusive stuff, but it's gonna be fun. Um, $6.99, really not gonna break the bank I would afford. But it is gonna be worth it. Uh, I know you're gonna enjoy that. So more details will be announced very, very shortly on that. Well, I'm gonna let you go. Hope you've enjoyed this song and uh, I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Until then, it's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well. See you soon. Goodbye.